Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do this. This is the paint factory in Gloucester. It's an iconic uh, view, iconic building. And uh, it's the first building that everybody sees when they come into Gloucester Harbor on a boat. You know, it's really outstanding. One of the first paintings I did when I moved up to Gloucester in 94, many, many years ago. All right, sketch it out. Uh, you can watch me here. It's pretty simple, just a simple building. The interesting part of this painting is, you know, it has these wonderful rocks in the front. So you have to be careful uh, in this. Well, you have to decide what you want uh, the painting to be about here. You know, is it going to be about the paint factory in the background, uh, the harbor, or is it going to be about those rocks? Because those rocks are uh, right in the front and they can easily take over the painting and sometimes that's what you want, you know, that's a, they're beautiful rocks and they can really add a lot to it, so. All right, sketch this out. Great building, great big smoke stack. Nice harbor, and then those beautiful rocks in the front. So I'm gonna focus on the building. I'm gonna, you know, go easy on the rocks and, and let the, uh, let that building be the subject of my painting here. I'm going to add a uh, the uh, Thomas Lannan sails the harbor almost every day, and it's a beautiful schooner. I'm going to put it in the background as a secondary point of interest. And see the curvature of the rocks really sends you your eye around and points you right to that boat. So it's interesting uh, that you do that. All right, I'm painting this now. Uh, I'm going to put a little little uh, base of uh, raw sienna in there, very light, very light to warm up the sky and uh, to have a little bit of little warmth under the blue there. Okay, uh, and they'll. It's a very light wash. You don't want it too dark now because it'll really uh, make your sky very dark. Okay, I'm dropping a little bit of uh, ultramarine on the top and then some Windsor blue uh, beneath that just to change it up a little bit, get a little a little mixture in the sky. You know, there's really no need. I'm painting around the <laughs> painting around that building, but there's no need to paint around the building. The building, look at the value of that building. It's so much darker than the sky so much darker than anything around it. We don't have to paint around it uh, because, you know, that red paint will really go right over the sky. So forgive me there. Uh, okay, very light wash of ultramarine blue on the water here. Cover the whole uh, ocean. Bring it down. You may want to put an extra charge of blue to, towards the bottom, like I did there, because it really brings that water forward. Okay, I'm tapping out a little reflection for the boat. Paper towel. All right, I'm using the same blue ultramarine. I, I had actually added some cobalt to it and a little touch of quinciana to darken it up. You can see just a little, just enough to make it a dark grayish blue. Give it a nice backdrop to the uh, schooner. And it still goes back very nicely. A strip of land in the back. I will paint the uh, Paint the building. This is just cadmium red and cobalt blue. Little dormer hanging off the side of the building. Beautiful chimney. 
big tall smokestack chimney. All right, so just just you know, paint in that, paint in that building. We're going to go over it later and do some detail to it, but I just painted the whole thing. All right, a wash of uh, raw sienna on those distant rocks. Dropping some cobalt blue on top of it. So we'll keep that, uh, that raw sienna and cobalt blue on all these rocks. If that you know, bothers you some, you pick that up. So a little stronger in the front here, these rocks are, uh, you know, they're right in front of you, so the color's gonna be stronger and deeper. So same thing, uh, raw sienna, with a wash of cobalt blue. And like I say, I'm not going to uh, make these rocks. I don't want to make them overwhelming, you know. I don't want to make them too strong because they'll compete. Uh, they'll be too distracting to get back to that building. All right, I'm using my credit card. You've seen me do this many times. Just squeegee across, looking for the texture. But you can see uh, that was such a light wash. It didn't give me uh, a lot of uh, a lot of texture, a lot of color. So I'm dropping in some color here on the cracks and crevices of the rocks, and I'm going to build this all up. Yeah, I could have gone in a little stronger with the color, but. I need to build it up here. So just putting in, as I say, the cracks, cracks and crevices of the rocks. While it's still wet, it's all nice and moist, so all this is gonna soften. All these lines will soften uh, as I go along. All right, really deep, uh, dark color here. This is quinciana and, and ultramarine. It, it's, uh, it's a little warm, but it, it's, it's a black color. It's very dark. And then I'm gonna uh, touch up. You can see it gets, it gets warmer as it comes up. And that gives you some nice shape on the rocks. That's the quinciana on top of the black, right on, on the top. Obviously that black is from the, you know, from the tide coming in and out and just soaking those rocks. Okay. That was cobalt blue I added. Going back with some more darks. Really bring out that. Those dark cracks and crevices on there. And taking a towel, just picking off some light here and there on the rocks. Okay. So you can see I'm not going in too strong here. I don't want those uh, darks to be too much. Okay. All right, so the rocks are floating right now and I need to go in with a dark reflection. So I'm just using uh, ultramarine and I'm pulling it you know, I'm painting into that dark of the rocks and just pulling that down. So this is just all a reflection of the rocks. Now there's a, there's a rock, uh, some rocks just on the other side of these rocks. So I just want to add that. It gives you a nice, nice lead in. Uh, so very dark on the bottom and then just a little quinciana mixed with raw sienna on the top there. Just a little shape so there's one one dark rock that gets wet all the time outside, and then there's a small piece here that I'm adding. All right. So that's it for the rocks for a while. All right, so I'm putting another layer on the water, painting around the reflection of that boat. This is ultramarine, and I'm just, um, you can see I put, a, I put one streak of ultramarine across, and now I, 
going much lighter on the top there with the water and letting it run down into that dark streak, leaving a couple of little spaces of light here and there. Okay, and I'll just getting a little stronger with the color as I get closer to the shore so that it comes forward. Okay, cutting in around the rocks. Bring it down. I'm going to paint into that dark so I get a little reflection of that rock coming in. Same, same down here. I see that strong blue. Good to have that right in the front. You know, you, you want it soft. There's no hard edges on it, so, but it does, it'll print, bring the uh, water closer. Right, I'm adding a very thin layer of uh, red here. This is just the cadmium red, very weak in the water to show a little reflection. I mixed up a dark green here. This is ultramarine with uh, quinacridone gold. It'll give you a beautiful dark green. So I put that in and then as you come up into the light, you know, add some raw sienna to it, push it up, push it up into the light with the raw sienna and then use that to paint some negative shapes around the rocks here. So adding those cracks and crevices on the rocks in the distance, very light. You know, you don't want to overdo that. Popping in the windows and a little detail on the building. Some streaks of, you know, little current, little waves in the in the water with some ultramarine. Just here and there. Going back to a little accent on the rocks here and there. Soft it, you know, make those make those soft. I don't want them to be too hard. But as you can see, the rocks are not overpowering. They're not taking over the, the total attention of the painting. <clears throat> All right, finishing up the boat. The beautiful schooner. They have uh, cruises <clears throat> all summer long. If you ever want to go out on a nice cruise of Gloucester Harbor, I think it's two hours. <clears throat> all right, so reflection of the boat in the water. And there's the red flag they're known for. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it, and I will see you again very soon.